All right, so Forza Motorsport update number 10 released today. It was supposed to be in two parts, but it sounds like they're doing it all in one now. So we'll see how it goes. Um, for the most part, uh, some of the main features here are going to be the big country labs arrow. So we don't just have the Forza arrow on everything. And we got that list of updates here. All cars are going to have that added. So that's one good thing. And also the car proximity radar so we'll get that here's some of the career events that we're going to have but the biggest thing is the reward car so we're getting the mercedes-benz amg ck clk gtr chef's kiss we'll probably never be able to use it in any series because they won't have any series it'll just be gt3 and gt2 and we'll never be able to use it um some of the discount cars uh, we are going to be splitting up, or they are splitting up the GT series into GTT, sorry, Forza GT2 and Forza GT3. And then eventually they're going to add in Forza GT4. So they're really just tripling down on the GT series, hoping it will save the game. But let's be honest, we all just want the Proto series or the P1 or P2 series. They could have easily just done a multi-class series of Forza GT2 and GT3, but they didn't do that because that's a little hard. They didn't want to put that much effort into this update. Uh, then we get the next upcoming series here, German Rivals currently. Rally Rivals is the one after that. And then the Hybrid Holy Trinity, you know, going with basically that's from a Top Gear episode. All three vehicles that they used in the hybrid Holy Trinity series in Top Gear. And then we see what tracks we get to use. And then we go over and we get some patch notes down here. So apparently there's some sort of issue with um, if you have too low of FPS that was shifting or different. You know how, how the car would shift and everything. So I guess they have fixed that or updated that. Uh, if you're on PC, the VRAM estimator is now more accurate because they thought that was important to begin with, so they have now made it more accurate. Uh, they've updated some issues with track, bump into invisible collision on the track. That's a kind of annoying. But it seems like things that were just more or less, you know, things that shouldn't have been in the game to begin with that they're fixing, not like updates to the track like they did for Le Mans or for the Nürburgring or something like that. And then updating to all platforms, you know, designs, it looks like. Um, I like that you can see the tire wear for multiplayer races because that is super annoying to not know what the tire wear was going to be in the Endurance series, a normal series also. So then you can go and test it on... You know your own series and see like what tire strat you want to do if you want to go and test that all right with today's update we get two new suits as well so as long as you do the um go and do the logitech g challenge rival event and the mobile one rival event There you go, you just put on the auto drive settings and you unlock the, uh, the Logitech G Challenge suit. So to get the Mobile One racing suit, you need to throw racing driver at Maple Valley and it's banking behind the wheel of the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 and try to set a faster lap than Tony Stewart on minute 57.453. Participate to receive an in-game Mobile One race suit. That is not available until July 24th is when you can unlock the Mobile One Pro Driver. We are getting the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. That's the only saving grace for this update. There's nothing really good. There's like They're making some changes. They're splitting up GT2 to GT3. And it's like, okay, cool. So we get the same races, but now we get less choices in cars. 
Thanks. I am super disappointed that they decided not to go with the GT C or the Group C endurance cars from the 90s. That they didn't do that, even though that was literally the event, like one of the like reward cards. We we didn't get those, so that that's just like ridiculous to me. Why would you give us a reward car, and then just not even give us like the endurance event for it? Well, I don't think that was in the patch notes, so. That is how every single race can be now. You load in and then you pick your vehicle. You don't pick your vehicle before you go in. Which I can see leading to a lot of annoying things happening. Alright, so the game did not come back and we had a restart. Imagine that. That's not... Well, it's kind of fixed. It just sits at a loading screen for like... Literally sat there for 10 minutes and did not load back in. So, so we also got proximity radar. You can do the map, center, top, bottom... Um, I think center is probably going to be the best one. So I'll show you a little bit of a clip of that. It's kind of blocky. Yeah, so once it gets close enough, it just kind of disappears the map and shows that instead. Oh no, I don't, I feel like it just looks real blocky and it's uh, not that great. I mean, it's kind of okay, I guess. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. Not exactly what I was thinking of, but hopefully it helps out a lot of people that are in the, like, in the driver's seat. Two redeeming qualities, I guess, in this series, in this update. The upcoming CL, the Mercedes CLK GTR is probably one of the one redeeming qualities in my personal, like my perspective. I don't think we'll ever get in a, a racing series, so that's unfortunate, but we'll probably never be able to use it online other than like the open class races. Uh, but the other thing is the proximity sensor if you're using... If you wanted that for when you're driving in the cockpit view or, you know, hood view. So that's also nice to have in that sense. But other than that, uh, I really don't think there's much to the update. It's kind of disappointing, but I think we're all used to that by now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.